Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation Vita, N64, 3DS, and Nintendo Switch. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about N64 emulation on PC with RMG. And you might not have heard about RMG. It stands for Rosalie's Mupin GUI. And this is a little bit different than M64P, or rather Simple64. Now, for those who might not be aware, Rosalie's Mupin GUI is designed to be an easy-to-use and customizable front-end for Mupin64. It might also have a few unique features, and it just got updated. So RMG version 0.2.1 and version 0.2.2 have just dropped. Version 0.2.2 is the version you want to pick up, and that's got some bug fixes. And version 0.2.1 introduces some new things. The big changes here have to do with cheating. So if you like cheating in N64 games, I kind of do sometimes. Well, this one has a whole bunch of improvements for that. Rosalie's Mupin GUI is free. It's open source. And if you're currently emulating N64 games on PC using Simple64, well, check out Rosalie's Mupin GUI and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Next up, we're talking about PlayStation Vita emulation on Android with Vita 3K. Now, Vita 3K hasn't released to the public just yet, but macdu has been experimenting with Turnip. So similar to Skyline, if you've got a Snapdragon processor, you might be excited about this one because you might be able to use custom drivers to get better results in certain games. I mean, using custom Turnip drivers, macdu has got Mortal Kombat up and running at about 60 frames per second. So for those of you asking why I like free and open source emulators, well, here is your answer. It's one emulator helping out another. In comparison, and I will talk about this more in detail in a future video, but in my opinion, emulators like Egg and S give absolutely nothing back to the community, and they're kind of bad for it. I mean, this emulator itself wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Yuzu, Ryujinx, and also Skyline. It's taken that free and open source code, made some minor tweaks to it, and closed the source and made a profit off of it and given nothing back to the community to help it out. To quickly further that point, emulators like Aether SX2 have benefited from emulators like PCSX2, but have also turned around and helped out PCSX2 and made it better. And Dolphin emulator has benefited from other emulators and has also helped out other emulators. But I will stop myself right there before I go on too much of a tangent, and I could go on for quite a while. We'll talk about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu. Yuzu Mainline 1259 just released, and we've got a very big update for older NVIDIA GPUs. If you've got something like an NVIDIA GTX 980 or possibly older, well, you might like this update. It fixes Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that would not render with Maxwell version 1 or older. And for everyone else, Mainline version 1260 that just dropped partially fixes Xenoblade Chronicles 3 red particles on various scenes that would not render correctly. Moving on now, and we're still talking about Switch emulation, but talking about Ryujinx, another Switch emulator on PC. And Ryujinx has been incredibly active today. We've got a number of improvements here. Performance improvements to Super Mario Odyssey in version 1.1.418. And even more improvements to Super Mario Odyssey and possibly other games in version 1.1.419. They're already up to version 1.1.423, but in version 1.1.422, there's a small quality of life improvement. They disable the check for updates option while a game is running. And to answer the question of which Switch emulator on PC is better, Yuzu or Ryujinx, I've answered this one a number of times, but my answer is both. Check out both, try out both, the more the merrier. And last but not least, we're talking about Play Night. For those who might not be aware, Play Night is a free and open source video game library manager with one simple goal to provide a unified interface for all of your games. Play Night is available on PC, and I'll drop a link to the GitHub in the description below in the event that you want to check it out. Version 10.8 just released. It's mainly a bunch of bug fixes, but it also fixes some windows that didn't remember the last position and size, so this is more of a quality of life update than anything. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a ton today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.